Christ is for us, with us, and in us. And hallelujah, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, The first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Dearly beloved, let us come into the presence of the Almighty God, praying together as we kneel. Please kneel. Together. Most, Most merciful, merciful God, God, I confess, confess that, that I have sinned against you in thought, word, word and, and deed, deed, by what, what I have done, done and by what I have left undone. undone. I have not loved you with my whole heart, and I have not loved my neighbors as myself. I am truly sorry, and I humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on me and forgive me, that I may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Our Almighty and merciful Father, have mercy on you, Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Please stand. Having received our forgiveness from our loving Father, let us now proclaim his glory as we proclaim the Gloria in Excelsis. Glory in the highest. Together. Glory, Glory to, God to God in the, in the highest, highest and, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. Do not leave us comfortless, but send us your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to that place where our Savior Christ has gone before, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Our first proclamation of the Word of God is taken from the book of the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 7, from verses 10 to 15, then 23b to 27. Ezekiel, chapter 7, verse 10 to, through 15, and then 23b to 27. Behold the day, behold it is coming, 
Your doom has gone forth. The rod has budded. Arrogance has blossomed. Violence has grown into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, none of their multitude, none of their wealth, nor anything eminent among them. The time has come, the day has arrived. Let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is against all their multitude. Indeed, the seller will not regain what he sold as long as they both live. For the vision regarding all their multitude will not be averted, nor will any of them maintain his life by his iniquity. They have blown the trumpet and made everything ready, but no one is going to the battle, for my wrath is against all their multitude. The sword is outside, and the plague and the famine are within. He who is in the field will die by the sword. Famine and the plague will also consume those in the city. For the land is full of bloody crimes, and the city is full of violence. Therefore, I shall bring the worst of the nations, and they will possess their houses. I shall also make the pride of the strong one cease, and their holy places will be profaned. When anguish comes, they will seek peace, but there will be none. Disaster will come upon disaster, and rumors will be added to rumor. Then they will seek a vision from a prophet, but the law will be lost from the priest and the council of the elders. The king will mourn, the prince will be clothed with horror, and the hands of the people of the land will tremble. According to their conduct, I shall deal with them, and by their judgments, I shall judge them, and they will know that I am the Lord. The word of the Lord. Please stand for the responsorial psalm, Psalm 97, Psalm 99, and Psalm 100. Let us proclaim responsibly by the whole verse, Psalms 97, 99, and 100. Psalm 97. The Lord reigns, let the earth rejoice, let the many islands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness surround him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him. And burns, uh, and burns up his adversaries round about. His lightnings lit up the world, the earth saw and trembled. The mountains melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the peoples have seen his glory. Let all those be ashamed who serve graven images, who boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all you gods. Zion heard this and was glad, and the daughters of Judah have rejoiced because of your judgments, O Lord. For you are the Lord most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. Hate evil, you who love the Lord, who preserves the souls of his godly ones. He delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light is sown like seed for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Be glad in the Lord, you righteous ones. Give thanks to his holy name. Psalm 99. The Lord reigns. Let the peoples tremble. He is enthroned above the cherubim. Let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion. He is exalted above all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Holy is he. The strength of the king loves justice. You have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. 
holy is he. Moses and Aaron was among his priests, and Samuel was among those who called in his name. They called upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spoke to them in the pillar of cloud. They kept his testimonies and the statutes that he gave them. O Lord our God, you answered them. You were a forgiving God to them, yet an avenger of their evil deeds. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy hill, for holy is the Lord our God. <clears throat> Psalm 100. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful sing. Know that the Lord himself is God. It is he who has made us, and that we ourselves, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good, his loving kindness is everlasting, and his faithfulness to all generations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please be seated. A second proclamation of the Word of God is taken from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 6, from verses 13 to 20. Hebrews chapter 6, from verses 13 through 20. For when God made the promise to Abraham, since he could swear by no one greater, he swore by himself, saying, I will surely bless you and will surely multiply you. And thus, having patiently waited, he obtained the promise. For men swear by one greater than themselves, and with them an oath given as confirmation in an end of every dispute. In the same way, God, desiring even more to show to their heir of the promise, the unchangeableness of his purpose, interposed with an oath in order that the two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we may have strong encouragement. We who have fled for refuge is laying hold of the hope set before us. This hope we have as an anchor of the soul, a hope both sure and steadfast and one which enters within the veil where Jesus has entered as a, runner, as a forerunner for us, having become a high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Lord be on our minds, our lips, and our hearts as we hear his holy gospel. The holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Luke chapter 10. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Now after this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them in pairs ahead of him to every city and place where he himself was going to come. And he was saying to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore beseech the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go, behold, I send you out as lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no money belt, no bag, no shoes, no, and greet no one on the way. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace be to this house. If a man of peace is there, the peace will rest on him, but if not, it will return to you. Stay in that house, eating and drinking what they give you, for the laborer is worthy of his wages. 
do not keep moving from house to house. Whatever city you enter and they receive you, eat what is set before you. And heal those in it who are sick and say to them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. But whatever city you enter and they do not receive you, go out into its streets and say, even the dust of your, street, of your city, which clings to our feet, we wipe off in protest against you. Yet be sure of this, that the kingdom of God has come near. I say to you, it will be more tolerable in that day for Sodom than, than for that city. Woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if, he, for if the miracles had been performed in Tyre and Sidon, which occurred in you, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloths and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in the judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, will not be exalted to heaven, will you? You will be brought down in Hades. The one who listens to you listens to me, and the one who rejects you rejects me, and he who rejects me rejects the one who sent me. The seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subjected to us in your name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. Good morning. The, in the gospel reading, the Jesus instructed uh, some of his disciples, at least 70 of his disciples, to go out of him. He instructed them in, uh, for a mission. Siguro, allow me to share to you yung experiences namin when we were still, I was still part of the Alive Youth. When we, on a monthly basis, we go to, to Baguio and minister to the youth there. Kasi nung around, around 2015 or 14, 15 or 14, yung, yung church natin, particularly yung youth natin sa Baguio, they were asking to guide them. Kasi sa church din nila may nangyari din eh. Some, some families left them uh, sa, sa church nila. And itong mga family nito, sila, magkakabarkada sila. So, they were ano, um, uh, down din sila noon by that time. And so we received ano, no, an, an invitation to go to Baguio and pinag-aralan namin uh, kung paano namin masustain yung pagpunta sa Baguio kasi di ba, alam naman natin, hindi for, uh, for a youth, hindi naman ganun kadali. Uh, it requires uh, financial uh, sa pag pagpunta sa Baguio. So, ang, ang ginawa namin programa when we go to Baguio, <coughs> is aalis kami ng biyernes. Ito yung siguro, ito yung budget meal namin kung pupunta ka ng Baguio. Uh, aalis ka ng Friday night at around 10 o'clock siguro, mga ganyan. Tapos, instead of going a hotel, doon kami sa bus matutulog. So, paggising namin ng kinaumagahan, mga around 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock, nasa Baguio na kami. So, yun na yung tulog namin, nasa bus. Pupunta lang kami sa isang sa isang restaurant doon, magwiwisik lang kami sa CR <laughs> para kunyari bagong, bagong ligo, then nasa Baguio na kami. Then we would message anyone from, from the Baguio youth kung sinong available during that time ng umaga, that we would meet them and uh, minister to them, makipagkwentuhan sa kanila. And uh, around in the afternoon, we would meet na yung, yung the rest of the Baguio youth. Uh, from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock to 6 o'clock, and then fellowship na kami doon. And from then, 7 o'clock, babalik na kami sa Manila na Saturday evening. Uh, kasi kinabukasan, uh, para pagdating ng 6 o'clock ulit, nasa Manila na kami, kasi 9 o'clock, sa TCU pa tayo noon, may, may misa. So we are, magmi-minister pa kami noon. Uh, we are, may mga acolyte, mga acolyte, uh, King David, choir, movement, so, they will still minister after they trip to Baguio. So, yun po yung, yun po yung ginawa namin programa. And, 
many of the youth joined. So, may, may requirement. So, kailangan una, kanya-kanya to eh, KKB. Hindi pwedeng uh, sasagutin namin. So, if they desire to come with us, kailangan paghandaan nila. May mga, may mga lalapit sa amin, di ko gusto ko sumama. Kaso, wala akong pera. Sabihan namin, pag-pray mo, God will provide. Kaso, yung week na akit na kami, lalapit sa akin, di ko wala talaga eh. So, ako kasi, I believe, if you pray to God, God will provide. Kasi meron naman mga youth na lalapit sa amin na di ko, ito lang, 500 lang meron ako. So, pang pamasahe lang to wala pa itong pagkain. So, what we do, we, we honor that. Tapos kami ng bahala. Tapos papasama namin sila, bahala, kami sasagutin namin kung anong kulang. Pero at least, ginawa niya ng paraan. Yung, yung pag-akit sa Baguio. So, this, these were the, 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 the requirement sa kanila. Um, yung pupunta ng Baguio, hindi doon para, mag, para mamasyal. So, talagang pupunta sila doon, minister to the youth, then go. So, walang, walang punta sa mga uh, tourist spots ng Baguio. And uh, walang, walang, walang arte, walang kahit saan ka pakainin, kahit saan kami dalhin, walang magreklamo. Even the, yung mga children ni, ni Bishop was going with us, ni daughters. Diba, yung, yung anak mo Bishop, diba, bah, ma, matatangkad eh. So one time nakita ko sa, sa bus, yung leg room nung, nung bus, hindi enough sa kanila eh. Minsan yung paa nila nasa aisle na para lang makatulog sila. So yun, they, they, they experienced that. Uh, lahat yun na na-experience nila. And uh, one thing is, kinabukasan sa Sunday service, Walang ma-absent. Although, I expect na mamagsabi sa akin, puyat ako, hindi ako makapag-minister. Pero walang, walang nag-absent. They were so on fire that they were still able to minister. So, that, that taught us. Maraming bagay dun sa, 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 sa ginagawa namin sa Baguio. And dun ako nakarelease sa gospel. When, when Christ instructed the 70 to go out, walang assurance eh na Sabi pa ni Christ, don't bring any money belts, don't bring any extra clothes. Kasi nung kami din nagpunta sa Baguio, sakto lang dala namin. Walang walang extra money, walang extra clothes. One time nga na nawala pa nga yung wallet ko sa Baguio. <laughs> so, ganun. So, sakto lang talaga. So, yon dun ako nakarelate sa, sa gospel na if you are to minister, if we are going to go out in the mission, Hindi pwede natin sabihin, Lord, teka, pag, siguro pag may kotse na ako, saka ako mag minister saka ako pupunta sa labas. Or pag may pera na ako, marami na akong pera sa bank account, saka ako mag minister So, hindi, hindi yun ang instruction ni Lord sa kanya. Ang tinuturo sa atin ni Lord sa gospel, and ang tinuturo din sa amin ni Lord when we are going to Baguio, is to trust Him. And yet, good enough, He will provide. Hindi naman kami nagutom nung nasa Baguio rin kami. Hindi, hindi kami nawala, hindi kami nag, nagkulang, may, may, may pamasahay pa naman kami lagi. So, ganun din dito sa gospel. The Lord provide. Actually, nung, nung He even encouraged the, the, the ministers na if the, the city you go in rejects you, move on ka lang. Diba? Ine-expect yun eh. Ganun talaga mangyayari. As ministers, we minister to somebody. So, we Diba, na, 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 naranasan natin na meron tayong mini-ministeran, may kinakausap tayo, may dinidisciple tayo, pero minsan talagang matigas ang ulo eh. <laughs> ayaw, ayaw makinig sa atin, iniiba pa rin ang ginagawa. So, ganun talaga. Merong, merong, merong mini-ministeran tayo, meron tayong um, inaalagaan na will still go on their way. They will, they will still reject yung, yung ministry natin. And uh, We are not Christian sa Bible. In fact, we he he give the three cities na ano eh, na nagreject sa kanya eh. like uh, the city of uh, Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum. What's what's funny with with uh, with Bethsaida? Ito kasi yung city kung saan Christ performed the feeding of the five thousand, di ba? Dun sa city na yon. For example, para niya kay dito. Dito ginawa ni Christ yung feeding of the five thousand. Diba, big news yun. Diba, headline yun eh. Sa Paranaque, nagpakain si Kristo ng 5,000. So, for example, ako, one, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the crowd of the, of, 
of Sebet Saida during that time dun sa, the, sa feeding of the five. Hindi ko naman nakikita yung nangyayari dun sa, ka, nasa malayo ako. Hindi ko naman nakikita sila Christ kung ano nangyayari dun. Nakita ko lang na, uy, biglang nagpapakain na. Nagdi-distribute na ng, ng tinapay at ng fish. Aba, mayayaman to sila Christ. Mayayaman disipulo nila. Kaya nilang pakainin lahat. Diba? Yun ang makikita ko sa event na yun eh. And tatanim yun sa, 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 sa akin. Pero what happened was, sa Bethsaida, even nangyari itong gantong mga miracles sa bayan nila, even in Chorazin and Capernaum, yet they did not repent. Hindi sila nagbago. And mas worst pa sila do sa mga bayan na hindi pinuntahan ni Christ. Kasi sila, nakita nila yung, yung ministry ni Christ eh. And yet, they did not repent. So expect that. May, may, may ganun pagkakataon. Pero what what Christ is telling us, yung heart ng ministry natin, yung heart ng mission natin, is not based on the provision that what we have. Pera, pagkain, damit. Or is this not even based on the reaction na may minister natin? But it is the calling. Ito yung pinapagawa sa atin ni Lord. Si Lord ng bahala, mag, mag, let the Holy Spirit change sa namin minister natin. Siya ng bahala doon. Pero our part is to be used by God. And what is encouraging in sa verse 16, yung kumbaga encouragement sa atin, sa ministers. Verse 16 says, The one who listens to you, listens to me, si Christ. And the one who rejects you, rejects me. Hindi, di, hindi ikaw ang rini-reject, kundi si Christ. And, who, and he who rejects me, Christ, rejects the one who sent me, which is God. So yun po yung confident natin when we go out, when, do, when, do minister, when, when, when we minister. And true enough, bakit, misan, naisip ko bakit na yung gospel na to, or bakit ito yung message sa akin para sa gospel ito. Kasi this is, this is still Easter season. We are to live the resurrected life. For many Sundays from Easter, the pul- sa pulpit, the, our priest and our bishop uh, teaches us to live a resurrected life. Diba? Hindi yung nakaupo na lang tayo dyan at walang ginagawa at uh, na, in the midst na alam natin na we have a resurrected life. We have to stand up, be used by God because we have the resurrected life. Now, it may not be as grandeur as going to Baguio or a uh, mission church. Hindi, yung pang-araw-araw natin. Eh. When we go out, sa, sa jeep tayo, sa naglalakad tayo, sa work natin, pakita natin yung resurrected life. When we, when we minister to our family, to our children, or to our parents, dapat nandun yun. Yun yung, as Christ instructed the 70, ganun din tayo, yung mamalilita bagay. Gan, ganun din kayo, friends. And the good news is, verse 17, sinama to dun sa ano eh, sa, 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 nagtataka ko bakit sinama pa yung 17. Pero it's, 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 it's a report. From the instruction of Christ, do not bring money, do not bring extra clothes, do not bring money belt, or you will be rejected. Pero ang nangyari, what happened was, sa verse 17, the 70, lahat, the 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subjected to us in your name. Diba? The Lord worked in them. Hindi sa kanilang kakayanan, pero the work, the Lord worked in them. Lahat ng 70 came, una, came back reporting na the Lord worked. Parang yung after our bagyo, we still minister on a Sunday. Kasi that fire was still in us, that God used us, and we want to give thanks to be used sa Sunday ministry natin. Puyat, walang, wala pang tulog, wala pang maayos na ligo, siguro. <laughs> Pero we still, have, we still have the energy and the joy of serving. So, yun po yung encouragement ko for us, uh, to us, to all of us. We are all ministers, uh, one way or another. May it be in the altar, choir, yung responsibility natin sa church, or sa mga kaibigan natin. 
we, we, we are ministers. We are called by God to be rep- representative of Christ. Yun eh. Kaya, pinapina, kaya pinalabas yung 70 eh. Yung sa mga pupuntahan ni Christ. Kasi sila ang ambassador, sila ang representative. And right now, having that resurrected life, we are the representative of Christ. And sa lahat ng ginagawa natin, Christ has called us. And we are to put our trust in Him. Hindi sa ka- sarili nating kakayanan, hindi sa wealth natin, hindi sa abilidad natin, but to be effective minister of, of Christ, of God, is to trust in Him, and He will work in us. Amen. Please stand. So, yan ang encouragement natin. No? Encouragement natin from God to be conscious with. No? Parang ano yan eh, prelude to Pentecost. Yeah? Set us on fire again. Yeah? Nawala na yung pag-raise ng hands natin. Nawala na yung desire to heal the sick, desire to minister to the streets, yung ginagawa ng youth. You know? And then notice, sabi nga ni Deacon, at the end, there's joy. <laughs> Isa nagdadaka tayo, ba, ba, bakit wala na akong joy? Guess what? Guess what? Bakit wala tayong joy at the end of the day? We are just concerned about perfecti- uh, perfection all around us. Meron akong ganito, meron akong ganyan, but where is the joy of God in that? So, thank you for the prelude to Pentecost for setting us again on fire. May the Lord open our hearts, open our minds to the power of the Spirit alive in us. Amen. Amen. Together in faith, let us now profess the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ, his His only Son, Son, our Lord. Lord. He was was conceived conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit Spirit, and born of the Virgin Virgin Mary. Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pontius Pilate, was was crucified, crucified, died, and and was was buried. buried. He descended descended to the the dead. dead. On the, the third, third day, day he, he rose, rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. He will come, come again to judge the living and, and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, the, the communion of saints, the forgiveness, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church and the world. Almighty Father, we lift before you your holy Catholic Church. That you would lead us in truth, baptize us in love, and unite us in spirit. We pray for her leaders, especially Bishop Craig and Bishop Ariel that they may with one voice minister to your life and to your people and the world. We lift before you the people of this community, this nation, and the world. That we may honor one another and serve the common good. We pray for her governmental leaders, especially President Marcos. That you would lead us in the face of justice and peace. We lift before you all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. That you would send your comfort and grace upon them. Father in heaven, we lift up to you our brothers and sisters, O God, that you may have, uh, that, 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 who needs your divine healing, O Lord. We pray for Antonio Sison Jr., Gloria Cabatingan, Lisa Arsenio, Peng Lara, Fer Lau, Jose Arellano, Emily Brainy, Geraldine Sison, Cecilia Habana, Norma Villanueva, Honorato Laguerre, Marivic Santos, Ana Emani, Salve Esmena, Brenda Legahano, Vicente Domot Jr., Bong Lopez, Pelagio Malacas Jr., Angela Costantino, Alma and June Katindig, Cecil Arceo Baguno, Joshua Ryan San Miguel, Caitlin Magtibay, 
Eterna Corong, Roberto Rosales, Lilio Mendoza, Rica Calilielo, Alma Perez, Vilma Villaren, Tay Fojas Magbag, Nova De Vera, Heidi De Leon. May your mercy and grace be upon them, O God. Give to the departed eternal rest. Grant that they may share with them in your eternal key. Let us lift up to God the corporate petition. Together, Almighty, Almighty God, God and King, King our dwelling, dwelling place, place in all generations, generations owner, owner of the earth, earth and all it contains, grant unto us our allotted inheritance, we pray, and the, the grace to build upon it facilities in which in your people, being restored in your image and ever growing in love for you, you might become a habitation of your presence and, and ministers, ministers of, of your, your life. life. To, to the, the glory, glory of Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord, Lord, who lives and reigns together with you and the Holy Spirit, Spirit one God, God, now and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you shared your glory before the foundation of the world. Be glorified in us as we fulfill our purposes in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you. And with your spirit. Let us share the peace of God with our brothers and sisters. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. So once again, let's open our hearts that the Holy Spirit will set us on fire, not only in the physical ministry, but also in the financial ministry. So again, let's revive that hunger, that thirst for us to be a blessing to God. Come and bless the Lord. Two by two sinend ni Lord eh, no? <laughs> Matatawa si Father Dino dito. Ano, kasi gumaganda boses ko pag kasabay ko yung magagandang boses. No? <laughs> Natatabunan yung croaking voice ko. You know? And being one, you know, 
nasasama na sa ganda ng boses ninyo. Thank you, brothers and sisters, <laughs> that I can sing to the Lord with you. Together, the doxology. Praise, Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, him all creatures here below. below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and, and Holy, Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the body of Christ. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become the blood of Christ. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we bring these tithes and offerings before you. They will be used in your church for the work you have set before us and the furthering of your kingdom. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. So for this morning, we thank God and celebrate the life of Sister Josie Hermora and Sister Helen Alikaya. And we thank God that they have completed their life's journey. And their life's journey has not been in vain. They had been a challenge, an inspiration, a light to us as the body of Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. But chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death, he has destroyed death, and by his rising to life again, he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts you in praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts proclaim together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy. Holy. Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you had brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, and out of death into life. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. Please kneel. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. The night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks, 
he gave it to his disciples and said, Take it, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Please stand. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Remember your servant Craig, our patriarch, our Yale, our bishop, all the clergy and all your faithful people. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us together to that heavenly country where with our sister Josie and sister Helen and all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church and the author of salvation. By him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Jesus died for you and feed on him in your hearts with faith and thanksgiving.
living members of your Son, our, our Savior Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and with your loved ones now and forever. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 